Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bull Central. We're going to be doing a Modern Classics gaming segment for you. Uh, I got uh, Carrie Bull sitting here beside me. Hey everybody! This is my wife, my very, very lovely, uh, patient, oh, patient, patient wife. Very patient. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, we'll cut to it. Um, we did play this game quite a long time ago, but now we're playing it again because I wanted to, in light of the fact that they announced Ultimate Alliance 3 on a, on Switch. Yay! Yeah, it'll be fun, but it is interesting that it's a Nintendo exclusive. I kind of didn't see that coming. I didn't see that they were going to make it coming because of, these are kind of old games now. Anyhow, we got a Switch. We do. We have a Switch, so I'm going to play it when it comes out, so we thought we'd check out the better of the first two games, which is Ultimate Alliance 2. And uh, what do we think here, Carrie? What do you think of uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2? Is it a modern classic? I think so. I like it. It's fun. It's... I'm always Wolverine, though. Yeah. Well, Wolverine is always... They always, like, wait it for Logan. Like, they wait the experience because they figure... Everybody wants to be Wolverine. Yeah. That or Deadpool. Yeah, you like your Deadpool. Um, I'm not so sure it's a modern classic. I think it's a pretty fun game of its kind. It's kind of like the top-down Diablo-esque type experience, but with superheroes and superpowers, and they went a long way to kind of enhance the experience on this one based off, off the first one, because the first one wasn't that good. It was okay. It was okay. Um, but, you know, they made the uh, the chained superpower things, the combo, the team yeah. combo things. Those are kind of cool. You know, you get to see some all... of them are kind of frustrating, but yeah. Some of them don't don't work that well, to be honest with you. Like, for some reason, every time we tag teamed like Logan with people, he had to like charge or carry had to charge into the fray, and, and he's very hard to direct. Yeah, you can't actually. <laughs> yeah, like, like this. This is. I think this is Storm, and I forget who who the partner is, but Storm, very clearly, right? That's a pretty effective one. So it was an improvement on the original Ultimate Alliance. Um, the story's better, that's one of the cool things about it, is it's actually Civil War, like the, the comic book Civil War. Yeah. Oh, this is a fun one. The trivia. Marvel trivia. You kicked butt on it. I don't know that I kicked that much but there were some questions that I didn't, I had no idea about. Well, the ones that I got right was, I guessed. I don't think so. You know a little bit about Marvel. You're a Marvel fan. You're not a you're not a comic book reader, but you like the movies. Yeah. I like and at the this movies. point in like Marvel Marvel movie history, you can get a lot of information about the universe just from watching the movies. That is true. That I is just true. made you watch all of them again anyway. <laughs> Maybe it's the fact that I force you to watch these movies, but they are good no, movies. I like watching them. Yeah, Anyways, and it's it's they're... Marvel and you like X Men too, even though yeah. they're at this point. I made moment. you watch that. Yeah, because, you know, they should be joining the uh, MCU, but at this point you have to go to the regular Fox-branded X-Men movies. So let's get back to the game. Um, yeah, so they went they went with the Civil War, which, if you've watched uh, Captain America Civil War, you get that it's like Tony versus uh, Steve Rogers, Captain America, uh, in a fight to keep the Avengers, to keep superheroes sovereign, and rather than like on a on a leash from some government somewhere telling them where and when to go, and that's a pretty cool setup for a game. And actually, as you get further in the game, you have to kind of separate your heroes out based on what what side you're playing. I like this part. You just picked up this light randomly and started shining it around. You seem so proud of yourself. Yeah. I got the light. I'm gonna light this, and then I'm gonna light this over here. And then Spider Man's gonna swing over my head, taunting me. And then I'm gonna throw the lights. Yeah. Very super heroic. I did because it was hard to see. You did it on purpose. A little, yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm awesome. You're so awesome. <laughs> so, what do you think, like, of the story? We we've talked a little bit. I about like I like the story. Um, there are some quirks in the game that can get frustrating, like anytime you swing around. A Spider-Man. Again, it, it's no different than the first one. Like, you would swing around, and I just wanted to kill you. Yeah, that is kind of a problem. Like, that is a limitation. I don't think anybody's ever really honest about that. The the Diablo-inspired and inspired top-down perspective dungeon crawler type thing is not really built for every 
genre. No. I don't know that it's built for superheroes, because superheroes are super mobile, and these games are meant to be played with friends. There's Deadpool. Ouch. And so if I'm Spider-Man, and I chose to be Spider-Man a lot, because I like Spidey, I'm swinging around, and you're Logan running after me. The screen just... It, you, you lose your character a lot. Yeah. That's I'm a like, big problem. And we're playing on a pretty big TV yeah. here. So, and I'm always losing my character here yeah. and there. Um, just because the camera, I think part of it is is the camera. A pro you a, know. Yeah, like again, in, in, in Diablo, everybody kind of basically moves at the same speed. So you never really lose characters. Right. I mean, you know, we, we've been promised um, a pretty big Avengers game at some point. And we do get Ultimate Alliance 3, but I'm kind of wondering at this point, why is Marvel lagging so far behind in the big AAA Marvel video games? Considering how much money Marvel rakes in these days from the movies, it's like it seems like a no-brainer. I mean, maybe they're f more focused on making action figures than video games. Ooh, that sounds like a diss, but I know you didn't mean you know, this one. Hey, Marvel, maybe you should stop focusing on action figures. Ooh, Ooh. whatever. Um, okay, so I think that's it. I think this is it. Um, this is an enjoyable game. It's still a classic game. It's still, it's still really, really fun. I do not consider it a modern classic. Personally, I don't think it's got enough content. I don't think it's got enough variety. It, it comes from an, a time in video games where they were not as incentivized from a gameplay perspective as they are now. They're just so much more engrossing and enjoyable, the good ones are. But that's me. And you call it a modern classic. Sum that up for me real quick. Uh, I think it's a modern classic because I, I do think that it is fun. I did like Diablo, so I'm not too sad about the, you know, perspective. How the perspective. Camera needs a little bit worked on and everything, but, you know, it's fun. Okay, so that's it, everybody. We're split. We're split on this one. Hey, everybody, do me a favor. This is my book, Fear and Loathing and Las Cruces. I have been plugging... Brave New Multiverse. Fear and Loathing of Lost Cruise is another collection, but it's got a little bit different vibe. It's a little bit uh, more crazy. There's more short stories in it rather than just screenplay and short stories. Science fiction, fantasy, horror, western, pulp, uh, crime. It's it's loaded with Jeff Bowles' goodness like a cream puff. Yeah. Bowles puff. <laughs>